Welcome to the monthly meeting of the Oklahoma City Youth Council. The Youth Council is a partnership between the city and leadership Oklahoma City. The 18 Youth Council members learn about the challenges of local government firsthand, and the program provides them with an effective, meaningful channel to influence decisions affecting their homes, schools, friends, and community. While serving, the members learn about local government, its components, processes, goals, and successes. Hi, my name is Jill Powell. I'm a senior at Putnam City High School, and this is the Ward Report for Ward 1. Widening will soon begin on Britton Road from Walkwell to MacArthur, so be aware for road signs. Also, road work is starting on Sarah Road from 10th Street to 39th Street. Road work has also finished on Hefner Road between Morgan Road and Sarah Road, and also on Hefner between County Line and Northwest Highway. For those of you who love chicken but don't want to cook it, keep an eye out for the new Popeyes on Expressway. Hi, my name is Lauren Long, and I'm a senior at Putnam City North High School, and I will be giving the board report, board report for Ward 1. If you think 2012 was a good year for you, you should hear how the Convention and Visitors Bureau did. Out of 10 major cities from neighboring states, Oklahoma had one of the three cities that improved the occupancy percent from 2011 to 2012. For the month of October and November, the hotel motel tax collection increased significantly, significantly from 2011 to 2012. The Civic Center Music Hall brought great economic impact with the production of Mary Poppins, a Broadway show that proves his high-flying musical remains a certifiable super hit. The State Fair hosted the AQHA World Championship Quarter Horse Show, which had over 150,000 attendees, all being out of, out of town and directly spending over $32 million on the event. Commonly known as The World, the AQHA World Championship Show is the richest and largest world championship horse show with classes open for amateur competitions and amateur competitors. There's nothing to horse around about that. The Greater Oklahoma City Hotel Association is pushing for more of their industry employees to become CTAs. This certification will give people confidence in the workers here in Oklahoma City and a leg up on the competition. The CBB is proud to announce that after much hard work, the Oklahoma City has been, pre been featured in the Sky Mall magazine. Check it out next time you're in the air. And that's all for this month. Have a great new year. Hello, I am Tanner Cowan. I'm a junior from Putnam City North, and I represent Ward 2. The Historic Preservation Committee last met on December 5th and approved 17 certificates of appropriateness. If you do not know if your certificate was approved, you can log on to www.okc.gov and view the minutes for December. For the Ward Report today, there will be infrastructural development along West Britain Road and landscape improvements on the corner of Northwest Expressway in May. Finally, finally, the United Founders Life Tower was added to the National Register of Historic Places. Thank you, and that is all for Ward 2. Hi, everybody. My name is Alyssa Owen, and I'm a senior at Carl Albert High School. Um, my counterpart, Ivan Flores, is not here today, so I'll be doing both the Ward Report and the Planning Commission Report. Um, the Downtown Maps Economic Development Project and Project Plan was proposed to be amended on December 13, 2012, including the new plan involving amending the budgets for increment district number two for a total amount of $93,500,000, as well as amending the project, bu project budgets for increment district number eight for a total budget amount of $157 million. These are just two of the new provisions set by the new amendment. Also on December 13, 2012, TLP Customs Home, Homes LLC request for a variance to Section 4.6 of the Oklahoma City Subdivision Regulations relating to the insurance to the issuance of a certificate of occupancy on property located at 717 Southwest 105th Street in Rio de Bella Edition Section 2 in Ward 3 was approved. One more approval made in December by the Planning Commission was that of Cobblestone Developers LLC application to rezone 8200 West Memorial Road from a planned unit development district to a single family residential. For the Ward Report this month, what a better way to start 2013 than by making a new friend. 
Start the year by adopting a friendly dog or cat at the Oklahoma City Animal Shelter, conveniently located at Southeast 29th and Bryant. Speaking about pets, children can have a memorable opportunity to read to dogs on Tuesday, January 29th, 2013, from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Southern Oaks Library, which is located at 6900 South Walker. You can pre-register, and if you have any questions, feel free to call the library at 405-631-4468. Have an amazing rest of the day, and don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. Hi, my name is Lauren Hill. I'm a junior at Bishop McGinnis High School, and I will be giving the at-large report. Oklahoma City residents living in wards 1, 3, 4, and 7 who are interested in running for a seat on the Oklahoma City Council can file from January 29th through 31st at the Oklahoma County Election Board. The primary election will be held March 5th. Candidacy filing forms can be picked up from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Oklahoma County Election Board. In addition, the Oklahoma City Council voted on the design for part of the Boulevard Project on Monday, choosing Alternative A by a vote of 7 to 2. The plan calls for a single bridge to go over Western near Classen and Reno. That concludes my at-large. Now here's Derek with the uh, Maps Commission report. I am Derek Knowles from Edmond Santa Fe High School, and I will be giving the Maps report. Maps for Kids is underway with construction and construction continues on 25 projects and is nearing completion on several schools throughout the city. Final plans are underway for the downtown elementary school. MAPS 3 is also making steady progress. MAPS 3 has an estimated $777 million towards eight different projects. Some of the highlights for this month are that the trails and sidewalks are in design for phase one, and, which includes two sections of river trails, and the acquisitions for those trails is already begun. And the master plan for the downtown park is underway with the land acquisition almost complete. The two public meetings and many focus groups have been very successful and very well intended. Thank you, and look forward to more news next month. Hello, my name is Alistair Connell, and here's the monthly award report for Ward 5. The planned unit development project, PUD 1474, which would allow for a new housing development on the corner of Southwest 104th Street in May, is still under discussion with the City Council. Both the positive and negative factors are being taken into consideration and the council is optimistic that there will be a final resolution on the matter soon. The recently built Southwest Oklahoma City Library, a branch of the Pioneer Library System, continues to thrive as it serves the population of Ward 5. The director of the Pioneer Library System and Masters met with the council last month to show appreciation for their support throughout the library's development. Finally, look forward for innovations to current park structures throughout Ward 5. The City Council recently approved Project MP0396, allowing for almost $90,000 to be allotted for the renovation of worn or aging park structures throughout the city. That's all for the word report for this month. Now here's Elizabeth with the Commission Report. Thanks, Alistair. My name is Elizabeth DeSalvatore, and I go to Westmore High School. Revenue was up at all city golf courses this past month, a great way to start off the new year. Early Wine Golf Course has received 50 new trees from the tree bank and has made improvements to many of its holes. <coughs> Hefner Golf Course has also re received 40 new oak trees as well. All these trees are being placed in a nursery so they can grow stronger before being placed among the course. James E. Stewart Golf Course has been selected to be the host of the 2013 All City Golf Tournament on April 18th, where approximately 40 high school players will compete from a 10 high school area. The January Game of Fish Commission meeting has been canceled, and the next meeting is February 4th. That's all from the commissions. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rachel Burchett from U.S. Grant with the Ward 6 Commission's report. The Oklahoma River Corridor is, driving, is drawing increased use by public and private entities. All scheduled events for 2012 at the Oklahoma River have been completed. Thanks, and here's my partner, Cassie, with the Ward report. Thanks, Rachel. Ward 6 had a very eventful December, with activities like lighting and breakdown, 
The Arts Council had an opening Christmas light night. They had 50,000 in attendance. Also, a river parade was held, and the, the Devon Ice Rink was open for the public. Thanks, Oklahoma, and Happy New Year. Hi, my name is Kat Lewis, a homeschooled senior, and I will be giving you the Ward 7 report. Ward 7 experienced many great moments in 2012, but alas, we must say goodbye and welcome in new opportunities and new events. Many exciting things are happening in Ward 7 over the next year, and 2013 looks forward to night racing on the Oklahoma River, thanks to 12 stadium-style light poles currently being installed, and the project is on track for a May completion. Also, Ward 7 seeks to welcome in the Adventure Zone Playground, sponsored by the Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma, which offers an adventure experience which mirrors that we offer, what we offer for adults. The playground features a 44-foot bouncing pillow and a Sky Tikes ropes course. Speaking of ropes courses, Sand Ridge hopes to complete the Sand Ridge Sky Trail this February, which will feature an 80-foot vertical ropes course, a 72-foot slide to complete the climbing experience with the optional 80-foot freefall. Please keep your eye out for news on the Bricktown Canal extensions, City Council re-elections, and road construction completions. That's all from my end, and now to my partner, Shelby, for the Ward Commission's report. Shelby? Thanks, Kat. Hi, everyone. I'm Shelby Wilkinson, a junior from Crossings Christian School, and I will be giving the Ward 7 Commission's report on the Oklahoma City Zoo. Some exciting new exhibits are coming to the zoo. This spring, the Oklahoma City Zoo will be opening a brand new exhibit called Stingray Bay. It will be a fee-based stingray feeding and touch tank set up near the Aquaticus building. The lower Aquaticus building is also about to undergo renovation to include a free touch tank, including animals like sea stars, and it will be located next to the sea lion viewing window. In other news for the zoo, the annual Gorilla Golf event has been scheduled for April 15th. This event is being sponsored by Dr. Pepper, and proceeds from this function go towards the zoo, zoo's conservation initiatives. And that's all for the Commission's report. Thank you. Good morning and a belated happy holidays from Ward 8. I am Ratul Azrar, a senior at Edmond Santa Fe High School, and I will be giving this month's Ward report. First and foremost, road expansion continues throughout Ward 8. I ask that you exercise much caution while maneuvering the work zones that are springing up. We look forward to the completion of these street improvements over the course of the new year. Additionally, the ward with the most residential development keeps growing as Cobblestone Developers has proposed construction of a single-family residential district on West Memorial Road. That concludes my ward report for today. Now here is fellow Councilman Diamante with the Commission Report. Don't forget to go green in 2013, and of course, stay classy, Oklahoma City. Hello, I'm Diamante Mitchell, a senior from Dell Science Academy and also a co-representative of Ward 8. Our war was pretty eventful, but towards the end, this isn't exactly news, but my co-councilman Ratul celebrated his 17th birthday on the 25th of December. So, happy belated birthday. Birthday, Ratul. And in our ward, upcoming events will be a community center for the elderly that will be known as Autumn Leaves that will cost $8.8 .8 million. And it's expected to be built at 101 South Bryant and start mid to late December. January and expected to be finished towards the fourth quarter of 2013. So, send your people there if you need somewhere. And also, UCL is offering a freedom from smoking program for those whose New Year's resolution is to stop smoking. And it costs $10 to register, and you must register by the 14th. And this program is sponsored by Central's Healthy Campus Initiative in partnership with the Mercy Clinic at UCL. To register or receive more information, contact Brittany Criswell at 974-2320 or bcriswell at ucl.edu. I hope you all have had a good year. Let's keep it going. Hello, I'm Saul Lopez. I'm a junior at Dove Science Academy, and I represent Ward 3. Today, I will be presenting the commission and ward report for Ward 3. Construction has started on a new fire station at 119th Street and Rockwell. It, ha it is to be finished by December this year. Two important road projects have been finished in the past 30 days. One is from Reno and Southwest 15th Street to Check Hall Road, and the other is from Southwest 15th Street and Check Hall Road to Mustang Road. 
Windsor Area Business Group, also known as the WABG, has uh, had a number of meetings designing the Northwest 23rd Street from Ann Arbor all the way to Tulsa. They're trying to decide what the design is going to look like. Work for this project starts this year as well. Also, a series of meetings have been held at the airport to decide what the east part of the airport is going to look like. It will be a key economic boost to the Oklahoma, for Oklahoma City. A resolution has recently been adopted by the Airport Trust Committee on behalf of Airport Trust from the Kilpatrick Foundation to assist the development of Will Rogers World Airport Public Art Master Plan. That's all for Ward 3 uh, for this month. Thank you. Thank you very much, you guys. You did a good job, and thank you for entertaining us as well as providing um, information. Um, and I know I noticed that some of the, the wards were kind of slow, so thank you for trying to expound on that. I noticed that too. The Oklahoma City Youth Council meets regularly throughout the school year. For an application or more information on the Youth Council program, call 463-3340.